Hi, this is Timo Buske. Welcome back to Blit Photo Tutorials. Let's turn a snapshot into an awesome cinematic look. Blit Photo Tutorials. Okay, let's start pretty classically here with the all-time standard workflow. Desaturating completely and just care about the lights. We have in the middle of the image here a pretty bright spot. I uh, think we need to tilt this down and um, first of all let's reduce the highlights with the HDR tool to recover all the bright areas. And uh, yeah, I think we can open up the shadows a bit. Not too much, around 15 or so. And now we can play around a bit with um, exposure and contrast um, to get the desired result. Um, maybe I should do a um, separate video for this, what the difference is, but for now let's just play around and try to get the best results. A little darker here. like so maybe, a little more contrasty and darkish overall. Okay, um, we also can use the levels tool. If I move this to the left it's, it gets a little brighter, the gamma is increasing, but we want uh, to do the opposite because uh, it looks just like a little more uh, cinematic if we do this. So I'm going for negative 0.1 and I'm going to add a dark vignette here. Around uh, somewhere above negative 1 so this looks pretty good. So now we can care about the sharpness with our um, standard workflow. I'm zooming in and uh, I'm going to first increase uh, the structure a bit. Yeah, maybe around 40. This looks pretty good for this image. And standard workflow for the sharpness radius to minimum and amount to maximum and uh, we are slowly increasing the radius until we see the halo there which is around yeah one would be too much I think maybe around 0 0.5 or something and uh, let's reduce the amount so we reduce also the halo Let's leave it at 600 something. I think we'll live just with a little of those halo, this halo here. Um, but I think we need to denoise. So let's turn up this to maximum and see when the noise starts to come in, which is around 75, I think. That looks good. Okay, okay. Uh, I think the most important part of this cinematic look is the color. Uh, so let's start with this now. Mm. I'm going to increase the saturation again, but uh, just a little, because if we go too far this looks cheap. So let's go for negative 60 something. And what's uh, pretty common for those cinematic looks is uh, the orange tear look. I already created a video of how to achieve this. So if you are interested, I will link this video below in the descriptions. But uh, for those who already built up their preset, uh, we can use it. Uh, orange tear. <clears throat> And additionally, to even make this orange teal look uh, a little stronger, uh, let's tint the shadows and midtones. 
with the color balance tool. So I'm selecting the shadows and I'm going to select a greenish tint here, maybe yeah, some, some, some tealish color here and I'm going to uh, increase this. And on the other side, for the midtones, I am going to select the complementary color and add just a little bit to this. Okay, that should be it. Uh, now let's do a little fine tuning. Um, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. I'm grabbing the gradient tool with G and what I'm going to do here is to tint down the floor. Brightness around, I don't know, negative 12 or something. And uh, I think in this case we also need to um, tint down this bright spot here in the middle. So let's create another adjustment layer, grab a big brush. And just let's do a single click here on this bright spot. And we turn this down as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, as you can see here in the histogram, we have a lot of dark colors and uh, it's not pretty well balanced here, but I think uh, this is uh, needed for a cinematic look. I want to achieve at least for this image here. So um, I'm pretty happy with this result. So I want to copy the adjustment to the other two images here. And uh, even this is, this is a, an indoor shot and the other to our outdoor shots, let's try if this um, cinematic look works for them as well. So I'm going to copy the adjustments. And apply the, those to these images here. I think we can deactivate the second layer here because we don't have bright spots in the middle but it works pretty well okay let's do the before after check even though we use the small cheap uh, more or less cheap um, camera like the, the sony rx100 here uh, we could achieve a pretty decent cinematic look and it works well for the two other shots here. This is awesome. Actually. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and you can use it somehow for your needs. Um, so see you later. Lit Photo Tutorials. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please support me by subscribing for more videos. Spread this out to all your friends. Like and comment. And of course, if you want to watch me blitifying one of your raw files, please upload it somewhere and send me a link to blit at timobuske.de. I will put everything you need to know into the description. Stay tuned and keep watching.